What's up, Booty Bands? You got Danita with BootyBands.com, excited to bring you another whiteboard topic on how you'll be able to take the power back in your fitness so that you fully understand how to either tone and slim your body or how to bubble certain areas on your body or to do them both. All right, so either pick one or the other today. It's gonna to be such a great topic. I'm excited because this one is asked all the time amongst women that are in their weight loss journey. And so if you are already have a perfect body and you don't need to tone and slim or bubble certain areas, then go ahead and skip this video. This will not be for you. This is for women that are looking to really start sculpting their body how they want to cut fat and keep their curves in the areas that they want to. Now you've heard about not spot treating, but yes, what you can do is sculpt your body the way you want to. And we're gonna learn how today, and it's gonna be super awesome as we dive into that today. So the Booty Bands and Barbells program is a three-step program on how we utilize neuroscience to help with the mindset loop, we use nutrition to help you with progression over perfection, and we work on the resistance training in our workouts, so we focus on building lean muscle to speed our metabolism. We focus on working smarter, not harder, and giving women the tools on how they can actually get to their success and have long-term results instead of just short, quick fixes. So this is a whole educational piece I'm excited to bring in, and if you like these videos, make sure to comment down below, subscribe, and follow for the next videos because I've got more coming. So. Let's dive into today's topic. I wanna ask you right now, and you're gonna comment down below, if your goal is you want to tone and find some definition on your body, your entire body, there's three choices here. The second one is if you're wanting to bubble and create more curves on your body, or the third is you want to do both. You want to tone certain areas on your body and you're wanting to bubble certain areas on your body. All right, so there's three different options that we can utilize here in today's lesson, all right? So the first one, if you're wanting to tone, this is reducing body fat and tighten up, finding more definition to define those muscles to give them more shape, all right? The other one, if we're wanting to bubble, we're gonna increase our muscle mass, building our curves, making our curves bigger and more voluptuous. Okay, so there's gonna be two things on each one of these. One is training and nutrition on each one of these. And it's gonna be simple, and I'm gonna get to the point, and I'm gonna make it so simple that you'll be able to be like, aha, I know exactly what to do with my program, because that's exactly what we want, is that you have the education that you need to take with you. So very simple, let's dive into the first part. For getting more tight and toned, you want light to medium weight with higher repetition. What does that mean? So let's say if I was doing an arm workout and I'm trying to I'm trying to tone up my triceps, I'm gonna choose light to medium weights, so about maybe 10, it depends for every person, right? It depends on if you're a beginner or advanced. But for me, light to medium weight would be maybe about 10 pounds and high repetition is gonna be about 15 to 20 reps. Okay, so that means when I'm doing those triceps, I'm really feeling that burn but not to the point that I can't finish the reps. I wanna be able to get to about 15 to 20 reps, and then that will be the way we can start to, to tone. Now let's dive into a few other areas. If we're wanting to tighten and tone, we use full body or circuits essentially in this area. So on days that I'm doing my upper body that I want to tone more of, I will go into like shoulder presses, and then I'll go bicep curls, and I'll go right into tricep extensions, and then I'll go into back rows all in one circuit. So that way I'm burning a lot of calories in this in the session and also utilizing like a full body routine. So about three to five times a week, you're wanting to use that resistance, lifting some weights, utilizing some bands to really start building the lean muscle so that you're gonna start seeing the definition on your body. Now you're gonna ask, okay, well, Danita, what about cardio? Cardio is a great one to add into the routine, especially if you're looking to lose, let's say over 20 pounds. 20 pounds about two to four times a week of doing cardio and if you're looking for, eh, it's just that last kind of stubborn fat. You've ever heard that stubborn fat you can't seem to get rid of? Well, I gotta tell you a story. So my boyfriend came to me and he's like, I just can't get rid of my belly. I've tried everything. I've cleaned up my diet, I've been doing cardio, I've been weightlifting, and I just don't know how to get rid of this stubborn fat. Well, key takeaway here. So if you're only looking to burn stubborn fat, what I highly recommend it is the HIIT training. This is the high intensity interval training and this is when I utilize it in between my sets 
of my like circuits and things like that, or I'll do it like after my workout. Before your workout, you probably won't have enough strength to do it, but your choice. Um, but I definitely emphasize that. And the reason why is because you're hitting two components here to help the fat burn. One, the resistance training, you're building the lean muscle and the lean muscle is what's gonna be burning the fat at your, in your sleep. So up to 24 to 48 hours after your workout, when you're using the weights and the resistance bands, you'll be, uh, burning the fat. Then on top of the, the hit, what you're doing is what's called oxygen depletion. If you've ever heard of EPOC, the excess post oxygen consumption, where essentially what happens is when you have to bring your oxygen to a point where you're like <sighs> out of breath, well, then your body has to go back into homeostasis, a state of balance. When the body has to come back to homeostasis, that also takes calories to burn. So it is amplifying your fat burn here even more. So if you are looking to get the height and tone, more definition, light to medium weight, high repetition, about 15 to 20 reps, full body workouts, um, if you're wanting your whole entire body to be tight and toned, if you don't, stay tuned, because we're gonna go into that in just a second. Circuit training, use resistance and weights, uh, cardio and HIIT training is gonna be the number one key effective ingredient there. Okay, so now that we went over the tone and slim, the defining portion, let's go into what if we wanted to make some curves on our body? What if we wanted to tone our upper body but make our booty bigger? Well, this is what we're gonna do. Medium to heavy weight, okay? So instead of 10 pounds over here, I'm gonna do some hip thrusts and I'm gonna lift some massive weight. Now, it depends on what you can do versus what I can do. Now, here's what we know. I know that if I lift about 100 pounds, I'm gonna definitely be feeling my booty burning. But if you lift 100 pounds and you can't feel that booty, but you feel like all the other surrounding muscles working, that means that weight is too heavy for you, okay? So that's how you'll know, is a weight that challenges the right body part to be working and not that all the other muscles are working around it, okay? So having that mind-muscle connection is very important here. So heavy, about medium to heavy weight and about low to medium repetition. So if I were just to say one to two reps, then that just means we're trying to get to strength training, that, that you know, power lifting guy. We don't want that. We're trying to do hypertrophy, so anywhere around eight to 12 repetitions, all right? Per set. We're gonna be focusing on one body part, so just our booty. Our emphasis in the entire workout is focusing on just that booty. So we're gonna incorporate drop sets to do that, pyramid sets, super sets. And if you have any questions on this, we do have the Booty Bands and Barbells app that I do dive into tone and slimming the upper body and building the booty. So make sure to go check out the app if you do have questions. Or comment down below and I'll help you out, okay? So about three to five times a week where you're really lifting some weight, using some resistance onto that one body part specifically specifically, and then um, I would definitely incorporate HIT into this workout because if you do cart ex excessive cardio, like you go and do a bunch of uh, uh, treadmill workouts, it's better to get into the high intensity so that you're shredding through the fat and yet you're still keeping the muscle that you just worked, right? Because excessive cardio can burn muscle. So I did put cardio up here. It's great for the heart, but be careful because we wanna to try to incorporate short, intense cardio workouts, which is great news. We don't have to spend as much time in the cardio, okay? Awesome, how are we doing so far? Did I lose you or are we still here? Are you still with me? Okay, so next let's go into the nutrition side of it. All right, and this is, oh, I know everybody's like, oh no, not the diet. Well, I didn't say diet, I said nutrition, okay? So the first thing is don't focus on calorie counting. Don't ever focus on calorie counting. And uh, I, I did shoot a video, so make sure you check out that video that I just um, I shot recently. It talks about not to calorie count, but instead focus on a calorie that's gonna give you results. Big difference, big difference on that. And I, I, I don't wanna go into it because obviously I shot a video so make sure you go watch that. Next is uh, having more fiber in your diet. So did you notice I put veggies up here, but I didn't put fruit. Fruit is great around the beginning part of your day. Some berries and some raspberries and things like that are great for antioxidants and great for fiber, but not towards the latter part of your day. If you're eating for a banana, a snack at night, or a bunch of pineapple and mangoes and things like that, you're really bringing that blood sugar up and the excess of blood sugar is just gonna go to your adipose tissue. So we wanna stay really low in sugar, so keep the veggies really nice and high. And anytime you are having carbohydrates, ask yourself, 
Is it high in fiber? That's where you wanna be at, high in fiber. The next one is the blood sugar balance. Now this is a whole nother topic that I did shoot another video, so make sure you go check that out. You can shrink your waist by just learning how to balance your blood sugar. So I will never take away your favorite foods, but I will teach you on how to keep your favorite foods, but adjust them so that you can start balancing your blood sugar and start shrinking that waist immediately. This completely changed my life, so make sure to go change, uh, check out that video. The next one is, I'm gonna skip to this bottom one, routine and progression over perfection. So you really have to find a routine of consistency because all these programs that are out there that are about quick fixes and they don't talk about consistency, they're up in the night and you're gonna gain the weight back just like The Biggest Loser on NBC. 12 months later, they found all the contestants and they've gained the weight back and if not, they gained back more weight. We do not want to be The Biggest Loser, right? So we're gonna avoid that high popular show and instead we're gonna focus on how what we can do and how we can be 1% better than what we were yesterday. Focusing on building a routine that can work for us. So taking a look over here, if I said work out three to five times a week and you're not doing anything this week and all of a sudden you're like, next week I've gotta work out five times, that's gonna be so overwhelming for you, right? So this key takeaway here is go, you know what? I didn't do anything this week. Next week I'm just gonna do one workout. And that is called a win in the booty bands and barbells community. That is what we focus on. All right, and the last one I wanna go into is the mindset. So the mindset is what we can get caught is in a self-sabotage loop where we create voids from a past and that can completely dominate the rest of your life. I have seen women not only in loops for just two years, but 20 years on average plus, that they have been stuck in a self-sabotage loop that it doesn't matter how much education I give you, how many workouts I give you, how many meal plans I give you, you'll sabotage it all with the mindset. So make sure to go check that out. I will put it in the description below. The Mindset Course is a, an amazing program that is helping women start to learn what their self-sabotage loop is so they can revamp and go into their self-love loop. And when the mind goes, the body will follow. So it's a, it's a great way to really get into your best self that way. Awesome. All right, we're almost done, stay with me. We got this last part here. So let's learn about the nutrition if you're trying to get curves. Again, it's not gonna be about calorie counting, so get that out of your head, women. It is absolutely corrupted so many of my members' minds when they focus on calorie counting, and you can tell I'm passionate about it, so make sure to go check out that video that I posted on it. Um, the next is learning about which carbs are the right ones. Sometimes we hear about, okay, yeah, get to your booty, but just add more carbs. So people just go right to the bad carbs. We do not want that. So make sure we go after the good ones, oatmeal, sweet potatoes, things that have high fiber in them is what's gonna keep that waist nice and small, okay? That's gonna be the difference. We wanna keep that waist small, but build the right area. So bring in the carbs. I do carb cycling, and if you wanna dive into that, I'll make another video on that about how on booty days we can add more carbs, and on our upper body days or tone and slim days, we bring our carbs down, and that's a great way to carb cycle. Nobody's been doing it, so I'll teach you, okay? All right, next one is learning how to adjust and put protein in every one of your meals. This is obviously for the tone and slim area as well, but so often I hear women are not getting protein in every one of their meals. So ask yourself right now, think of all the meals that you had today, and did you have protein in every one of them? And if you did have protein, was it too small? Making sure that it's about like one to two fists worth if you want the majority of your of your plate to be high in fiber, so a lot of vegetables and a lot of protein. That's what's gonna shrink the waist and it's gonna build those curves. The next I'm gonna talk about again is the blood sugar balance. Again, I have to bring that up because if we want to really keep this waist small, we've gotta really learn how to balance out that blood sugar and have some awesome other feedback in there. So make sure to go watch that video that I'll post right here. The last again is again that mindset, the routine and the progression over perfection. So whatever I said today, I want you to think about the one thing Thing that you can do better tomorrow. So this was might have been a little overwhelming for the whole cap. So if you felt like, oh, okay, you totally grabbed it, great job. But if it was a little overwhelming for you, I want you to go back, watch this video, and just think of the one thing that you can do tomorrow and do not overwhelm yourself. That is where we're gonna fail, okay? So we don't wanna fail, we wanna be in progression over perfection. Focus on that routine, how can we be consistent? My routine specifically did not change overnight. This was obviously a journey and you've heard that. It's a lifestyle, it's a journey, something you have to fall in love with. And to be able to do that, you wanna focus on one thing. So one thing I did first, was not calorie count, but I focused on improving the calorie to get better results. Maybe that's just the one thing that you had to do today. Whatever that one thing is, comment down below. I wanna know what that one thing is you're gonna do tomorrow so that you're going to start stepping into your best self. 
So Booty Bands and Barbells loves and appreciates all of our members. Thank you guys so much for being in here today. We enjoy you. If you aren't in our free Facebook group, make sure to join us. I will put the link down below. Booty Bands and Barbells Facebook group. We have um, an app that's amazing. 10 to 15 minute workouts where you have um, personal trainers guiding you through each step. Whether you're a beginner or advanced, it's absolutely phenomenal for all different levels. Well, we will show you how to do the different training styles and how to really help you with the nutrition. There's all sorts of videos in there that will help guide you and if you have any other questions comment down below I will be personally answering these comments so if you have something specific to you maybe it was an injury or maybe it's a certain food you don't enjoy or maybe you absolutely hate my outfit today okay let me know <laughs> okay maybe not all right lots of love you guys have an amazing rest of your day bye